with Dan at the RNLI All Weather Lifeboat Centre. As you can see, we've got some Shannon class lifeboats being built behind us. Hi Dan. Hi Hannah. Can you tell us a little bit about the Shannon? When was it introduced to the RNLI? Um, the Shannon was introduced in July 2013. Um, she's a 13 metre all weather lifeboat um, capable of beach launch and recovery. The main difference with, um, with her in comparison to all of our other lifeboats is that she's driven by water jets. And where does she fit in the fleet? Um, so she's our smallest all-weather lifeboat, capable of 250 nautical miles out to sea and 25 knots at full power um, for 10 hours. So obviously we've got the Shannons being built behind us. It's quite a unique setup. Can you tell us something about it? Yeah, we're, um, we're really privileged here at the RNLI. We've um, been fortunate enough to build the All Weather Lifeboat Centre and it's been, been open for just over a year now. Um, we have the various different stages of build here laid out behind you, um, from initial fit out prior to us painting the boats to the post paint cell where we fit out all of the equipment into the boat and then to the final slot where we actually put the, the wheelhouse onto the hull and carry out the hull to deck joint. So she's a relatively new boat. Why did you decide you needed a new fleet? The Analyze made a commitment to have a 25 knot capable lifeboat fleet around the coast of the UK and Ireland. Our existing class of lifeboat that was capable of beach launch was only able to do 17 knots. So the decision to have a 25 knot lifeboat that could, was capable of beach launch and recovery was taken. So she's obviously a fast boat. Can you tell us a little bit about the design process? Yeah, it was, it's quite a unique opportunity for the RNLI. We actually set up an internal project team and we, we did the design entirely in-house, um, including the actual hull design. One of our um, naval architects, Peter Eyre, managed to design the hull and went through a really rigorous selection process to allow us to, to develop the hull and we, it's been really well received by the crews. Along with the actual hull design, we obviously designed all of the production methods to, to put the boat together in-house and we've ended up with a really successful product. So from start to finish, when they sort of come into the um, to this centre, how long does it take? So from the time that it comes into us, we take 10 months to actually push a boat through all the various different stages, pulsing every two months to allow us to push a boat out every two months at the end and deliver six boats a year. And then finally, what happens when it's all finished and it's ready to launch? So once we've, we've finished all of our build work, the boat goes out of the factory and out into our trials team where we have two months to rigorously test the boat and try and find any defects so that it's absolutely perfectly ready for when the crews take it.